In your Voice Your Vote coverage, Ashland residents were able to learn more about local measures and candidates. Thank you for joining us for Newswatch 12 at 6. I'm Samantha Kadera. Today, ahead of the upcoming election, Newswatch 12's Rocky Walker went to this public forum and shares the details. Why are we just sitting here letting the, the days pass? Let's go out and make something happen for all of us. Ashland got a look into their local city council political candidates at a forum today. This comes ahead of the upcoming election that is mere weeks away. Hosted in part by the American Association of University Women, Ashland News, and the League of Women Voters. They did this to inform the community and put transparency on the forefront of the election. We have a lot of issues that are behind closed doors. And um, so we need candidates that are willing to engage the public in making decisions that they are going to be making for them. Moderators got to ask the candidates questions pertaining to Ashland politics, and so did the crowd. And the candidates had the opportunity to showcase what matters to them and the roles they'd play on Ashland's council. Covering topics like the economy, homelessness, wildfire risk, and council transparency. Affordable housing, um, diversifying our economy to create more jobs for young people. And then last, refocusing on our downtown. Why don't we have a stronger economic energy here. We need to become a four-season community. I think it's important that we have conversations around low-income housing. There's a big divide, and I think as a community, we're exhausted. But if an air bird came floating in, what are the chances that you're going to lose your house? In Ashland, Rocky Walker, Newswatch 12.